So this is the last example. If the figure shown, in the figure, if the figure shown 90 liters per second of oil of specific gravity 0.86 enters through the 125 mm diameter pipe at A and discharges radially in all directions between the two circular plates 600 mm diameter and 25 mm apart, discharging into the air, neglecting friction, determine the absolute pressure at B in kilopascals, the velocity at C in meters per second. The discharge in liters per second if the velocity of flow at B is 1.2 meters per second. So here is the given figure. Take note that the flow is, this is circular on top, so in all directions. For the absolute pressure at B, we simply write energy equation between B and C. This is also C because this is the outlet and remember this is circular. So you can also call this as point C. So this is exposed to the atmosphere. The pressure head here is zero. So we have velocity head at B, pressure head at B, elevation head at B, which is because the, the atom is true, B is so zero. Calls velocity head at C, pressure head at C, elevation head at C, head loss from B to C, which is not mentioned here. So we just treat that. We just treat this as zero. So for velocity at B, for us to, for you to visualize the situation, so QA equals QB equals Q sub C, it looks like this. So the, this is the cross-sectional area at C, which is the lateral area of a right circular cylinder, which is equal to circumference 2 pi r times thickness, which is 25 mm. So therefore, 0 0.09 equals 2 pi, radius at B is 0 0.15, thickness 0 0.25 times velocity at B. And it is also equal to 2 pi, radius at C is 0 0.3, 300 mm, thickness 0 0.025, this one, times velocity at C. So we can compute velocity at B equal to 3.82 meters per second velocity at C which is the question in 14.2 can now be computed it is equal to 1.910 meters per second so substitute into this equation we have 3.82 square over 19.62 plus pressure head at B over point it is pressure at B over point it's six times 9.81 plus 0 equals 1.91 square over 19.62. Pressure that C is 0, exposed to atmosphere, 0, and not pension or 0. So pressure at B is negative 4.706 kilopascals. Having found pressure at B gauge pressure, so we add 101.3 atmospheric pressure to compute the absolute pressure at B. So negative 4.706 plus 101.3. The absolute pressure at B is 96.59 kilopascals. Then for 14.3, the discharge is the discharge in liters per second if the velocity of flow at B is 1.2. So area at B 2 pi 0 0.15.025 times velocity 1.2 times 1,000. So 2 pi 0 0.15.025 times 1.2 times 1,000. So the discharge in liters per second is 28.27 liters per second. So that's it.